Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. And I'm your host, Sam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Lovely Lab. All right, so now we are continuing on with our gratitude journal. Um, if you are new to the series and you want to get started or want to, you know, figure out how you too can join the movement, the gratitude movement, there will be a card up in the right hand corner that will take you to the playlist. And I likely will just add a link in the description as well um, to the playlist and it will take you back to the very first video that outlines the supplies that you'll need um, to create a gratitude journal of your own or for whomever you are creating it for. Um, just a quick note, uh, aside from the, you know, the scraps and the uh, papers that you have at home, the only thing that you'll need is a composition notebook. So I think those are easily found at the local stores for around a dollar. Now, this video, we are going to go ahead and decorate some of the inside of the journal. The last video we did some stenciling and um, I showed you guys uh, how I did it using some of the stencils that I have in addition to um, and the inks that I used which were the you know just regular ink and the tools that I used which was the distressor and um, a little blending brush a makeup blending brush so we went on ahead using distress inks and regular stamp inks and added some stenciling to, throughout the book so now today using the items that we already have um, which are the tags that we've created the petite prayer pockets now that's also in the playlist um, if you are, weren't able to actually purchase any um, they have not had them at Walmart I think for 12 for a dollar or something like that um, I also showed you in that video how to make them for yourself and so you could have the same dimensions as what we have here and it's just a cute way to put your prayers tuck your prayers away inside of your gratitude journal and perhaps you know later on go back and see if they've been answered you know that's up to you so um, what I want to do at this point is go through the book and decide which pages I want the um, the petite prayer pockets to go on so some of these pages have certain colors on them some of them are certain um, certain sides of the book so that's going to determine where I place the pockets because some of the pockets go this way some of them go that way and some of them go up okay this page I think I want to put two pockets on but I need to find a page that has the pink on it um, because I am not going to be able to match or you know I'd like to have it somewhat coordinated not fully coordinated but you know you get what I'm saying I'm not sure how much red I have it's it's a reddish pinkish color tone and I don't know I think that that feather might have been nope here we go all right so I need one on that side let me see if I have another with something uh, yeah there we go we can do that like that so I'm going to put that down there. And also, before um, I came on camera, I went on ahead and stitched around the majority of the tags. Actually, all, the, all of the tags. Just to give them a little bit more um, durability. You know, make them a little bit more durable. So I'm going to put that down here. It's not an exact match this year, Red. Let me make sure I'm in frame. It's not an exact match, but that's fine. I'm okay with it being somewhat in the family you know so I'm just gonna go ahead and using some Eileen's tacky glue and this is a little bit um, I've diluted it just a little bit I have a larger bottle so before I pour it into the smaller bottle that I use on my you know for most of my crafting paper products or paper crafts I go ahead and um, I put the I put the glue in 
but I um, add a little bit of water and then I make sure that I shake it up so that it um, blends well. And I do that several times before I actually um, use it. Because I personally don't, um, it's Eileen's Tacky Glue, it's great for cardstock if you have it. I mean, if you're using that. But um, a lot of times for journaling, we're using the thinner paper. So, um, and it can, has a tendency to warp when it's a little too thick. So I'm, we got that there. Let's move on. See if we can find another one on this side that has the pink tone. I'm not sure. See that one has another. That's on the right hand side again. And that's on the right hand side. Geez, I was going getting busy with the right hand side. So we're going to add the petite prayer pockets. We're also going to add a belly band. And I'd like to use some of the um, images from the freebies that I um posted for you guys i created a pdf with some um let me just show you there's a video for it and i'll put a card up in the corner so that you guys if you didn't watch that one you it'll take you right to the video where the link for the pdf is um so these are the images this is free and here are the gratitude prompts this is on a vintage background and then this one is on a white background just in case you don't want to print it you can print it on cardstock or whatever other color the white you can print on you know any paper for that matter but um so let me go ahead and put this one i'm not stalling y'all i wonder if i put any on that side and it doesn't even matter because if i didn't I'll go back and do something to that page. So I just want to get this one off of my desk. Okay, so here, let's see. And I also want to make sure I have a balanced book too. You know, I don't want them all on one side. And I think I'll put one, yeah, because this side is already, so I'll leave that there. So we'll put this one, oh gosh, is that enough glue? Put this one on this side and I'm going to put it up because again I want I want to make sure that the books is balanced and all of the pockets aren't at the bottom and I also have quite a few pockets already put in that uh, are going to uh, make the bottom a little it's going to be a little bit bottom heavy because of them so keeping that in mind so we'll put this here at the top semi to the top careful not to put it outside of the edge I don't want it outside of the edge because I don't know if it's going to conflict with conflict with my closure whenever that happens and in the next video we're going to decorate the cover okay so stay tuned for that so let's see what else do we have stenciled oh here's a pretty one there's a little bit of blue one Oh, that'll be perfect there. Yeah. No, nope, this one's going to go on that side. See what I mean? You got to pay attention to that stuff. Okay, this one can go up, straight up. And I'm going to put this right there. And then I'll journal here. Or it might just be a quote page. I could have just went on ahead and taken out. And some of my petite prayer pockets um, I made with, co um, I coffee dyed them or tea stained them, I should say. And some of them I just left white because I did want the variety of um, the finishes in the book. I didn't want it to be all distressed, uh, you know, or all aged. And note that I'm not doing a lot of um distressing throughout this book because this book it, it, it's no way to make give it that vintage feel um well i shouldn't say that i'm not going for a vintage feel uh, a little crooked there we go all right we don't have that many pockets, so 
fear not we won't be here all day this one is going to go this way and this one's going to go this way all right so You know, I'm going to save this for one of the red pages on that side. Because I think I have quite a few. I know that there was a one page that had the feather. And I'll show you guys the um, tags in just a minute. I totally forgot uh, to show you the results of that. Although you've seen them already. All right. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing OK. I hope everyone is staying sane and safe. And uh, I know you guys hear that, do you know, if it's not a dog barking in the neighborhood, it's my son gaming or my husband watching boxing. My videos can never just be, you know, quiet, quiet background like I hear some of this is one of them. And I actually added a little bit of homemade gesso to that um, because this vintage paper is so brittle that I didn't want it to um, uh, to break apart on the tag and and I'm not going to embellish this because it's going to sit inside of the pocket so I didn't feel need to do that so anyways let's see I know we had I thought I saw one with a feather on it here we go Um, I think I'll do it like that. Yeah. And then we have the last one that I got to add to that side. And then we'll move on to add some journal quote, uh, some gratitude quotes. And I think I am going to distress some of the edges for those. Uh, use some distress ink on some of them. And then I also will use some of the gratitude prompts that um, I have listed in the Etsy shop and I'll show you guys that in case um, that's something that you might have missed. Bring that over. There we go. Oh, that's still a little crooked. All right. Now I know that schools, some schools across the country have closed um, during the crisis. Um, ours has not. We are virtual academy year round, or should I say throughout the school year. So um, nothing has changed for <laughs> for my son. And he's like, no fair. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you'll be fine. And you'll also be educated. So there we have that. Um, but I actually would prefer that he continue on because what else is he going to do with his day? You know, I mean, what what else what else does he have planned besides gaming and because there's no baseball and majority of his friends are just as quarantined as he is. So what's he going to do? I'm going to put this right here like that. What's he going to do? Uh, now, we have managed to go on a little nature hike. We have taken advantage of um, this lockdown because there aren't as many community-wide activities um, or events well I should I should I say there are none because here in Georgia um, the restriction is 10 uh, gatherings of 10 or more so everything that we're involved in uh, on a week-to-week -week basis is already 10 people or more so that's that but it just gives us an opportunity to enjoy ourselves enjoy our home and enjoy our um, environment. We live right up the street from a state park. It has a little beach on it, two lakes, and walking path, hiking trail, and it also has a campground. So um, we've ridden bikes, scooters there, and we've just had a good time hanging out here at home, um, reading, and you know, like I said, you you guys know J Josh likes to game, so this has been. It, you know, a dream for him to be able to, I think I'm going to leave this, I'm going to add this belly, belly band, but I also want to add something on top of it as a focal. I might use a cluster. We still have our clusters. Yep, in here. 
along with our journal cards. And I think I'm going to put that belly band. Uh, I didn't realize we did so much work in here. Here we go. Here's a great page for that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And I'm going to put um, enough glue. You think I would just go ahead and get another glue bottle? That would be way too much like um, taking, you know, being efficient with my time versus me sitting here trying to squeeze this glue out. The struggle is real, folks. The struggle is real. All right. So which way did I say I wanted this to go? I think it was this way. All right. So let's get it centered. And mind you, um, this belly band, I just used the scraps. That's all I used was the scraps from the coffee dyed paper. Actually, it was from, that's a little, needs to be pushed over a little bit. There we go. Um, from when I lined the covers. So when I, this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper I lined the cover with. And then the excess I cut off, and that's what I use for the belly band along with the scraps. And remember, I told you, don't throw away any of your scraps. Rule number one for your projects, hold all of your scraps until the end, in which case after that you can either create a collage with, or you can just totally throw them out. So this is what the scraps, size where the scraps um, ended up looking like. And I'll probably use this um, on another, I'll do another one off camera and add it to it and then I have one this size that I can do for a wide one you know going that way so now let me go through here and look and see what clusters I may be able to use on this so I don't want it to be too intrusive I think this might be the best one um, nope this one I think this one is good. Should we? I don't want to cover up too much of the collage. I might go up here like that. Yep, that'll work for me. Yep. Before I do that, let me go ahead and use the the clusters on these pockets because that is what they were created for. So let me see if there are any pockets that could use these could fit on. Let's see, like that. That's cute. Make sure I'm in frame. That's really cute. And that might be the side of that. Or we can use some of the freebies. Let's see. Let's see if any of the freebies might work. I think that it will. Oh, that'll be pretty. That would go even better. So we could use that on there. And then I had a label somewhere. Where is that? It's a uh, Mm-hmm. Bear with me, folks, while I remember what I did. Okay, here we go. It's all in my folder. Right here. What I did with... Let's see how these might work out. I've got some frames and stuff from when I was putting together the... Uh... Oh, that'll be cute. Grateful, blessed, thankful. The ones that I have in the gratitude journal are a little different. These are the ones that I put together when I was making it. And they are they are a little bit blurry, but I'm going to go ahead and use them. Because they're already cut out. Waste not, want not. So, if you 
check down in the description there'll be a link to the gratitude prompts um, kit or the, the gratitude kit and this is actually the ones that are in the gratitude kit Let's see thankful grateful blessed which I think I don't think I printed out another set of these if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Lily's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.